Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is back. This is going to be part three. Um, <clears throat> video series, The Enemy Within is a Fool Within. On this uh, Friday, November the 8th, 2024. I had my uh, coffee. I've been snacking on a little bit of stuff. So I think I'm prepared to, to keep it going. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep this going as long as I can. You know, I want to get as much out. Uh, I, I, I say before January. And I say that for a reason because, you know, um, it's going to be the changing of the guards, so to speak. And I know a lot of people are just despondent and upset and, and, and angry and bitter and mad and don't want to seek retaliation and revenge. At the same time, a lot of people are targeting people, making fun of people, um, disregarding the, the, the feelings of others, you know, being cruel, being mean being hateful, you know what I mean? And um, it goes up across all spectrums, you know. Men and women are doing it. You know, they kind of, you're kind of rolling around in that criminal energy, you know, that's unfortunately saturating this planet. And it's going to cause people to act a certain way about things and not be, logic, be logical and realize that you can't win everything, okay? It's not about win or lose anyway. It's not about what, what you win and what, you know, so we always see the, uh, the uh, the entertainment factors to our realities and not paying attention necessarily to the spiritual components of who we are, what we are and why we are and why we need to evolve our consciousness. But sadly, billions of us are devolving uh, their consciousness because they are uh, in intentionally, a lot of them are intentionally stunning their growth. You know, they, they just, just want to remain stagnant. And some of them, they have this belief, you know, it's a belief that has been implanted in their brain, sadly, since the inception about uh, progress, about uh, uh, about uh, their, their um, standings in life, you know, that they are the authorities of life. They are the authorities of life of others. You know, they control... You know, more so, uh, you know, the, the, the biologicalness of our realities. You know, a lot of people are throwing biology out the window, by the way. You know, we are always infringing on the realities of others. We're always uh, trespassing. We're always bothering people. We're targeting people. And a lot of people just don't know what to do, you know. Um, I... Um, I, you know, I know someone and, you know, I send love to you. I send nothing but love to you. You know, um, you, know you, you, you know, you said you don't want to be angry. You don't want to be, you know, I understand it. I understand it. I understand it. And you, you know, you're looking for that peace. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's fantastic, actually, because that means that you are recognizing that something's not right here. Right. Um, and some of you, you know, you're going to, it's going to take time. Okay, and so that's why I say you go. I mean, I hate using that word time because people always misuse it as as opportunities. People misuse opportunities. It's all about the spin, you know, the spin, 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 and confuse, 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 and it works, works, works. You know what I mean? If you're not thinking properly and not using your using proper thinking modes, but I know there's a lot of despondency. I know a lot of people are depressed. Uh, and, and but I but again I question. Okay, where did your joy and enthusiasm go? Okay, did you were you holding on to it initially? Just be kind and gentle and ask these questions of yourself, and no one has to know. Okay, no one has to know this. This is your evolution. If you choose to participate in it or not, or remain unconscious, or remain indoctrinated, and just remain a follower and a believer, you know, and such. It, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a choice. You have free will, despite what anyone says. Okay. So, on the second video, I talked about how this particular song had been playing in my, in my, in my mind, my brain, in my skull, whatever. Consciousness, whatever, whatever. It, it has been, it was playing. How about that music, sounds and tones, which I, I, I you know, I recognize is the key to everything, you know. Um, 
and and you know, and sometimes, like I said, your sense of, your sensing has to read you in a certain way. You know, I told you I am a visionary type person, right? I have to see how things are done, see, and I still do. I, I still have a I have an issue with um, sometimes a direction of travel. So, you know, hey, I got I have my weaknesses. That's what I said. But at the same time, I've evolved. You know, I'm still evolving. So I'm evolving my what I hear, sense, receive. That's an ongoing, forever and ever process. It's a process of putting things together, putting the pieces together. So you know, when I was a young young woman, and you know, hearing that song, because it apparently came out in the '80s, uh, by the, the version that I like by Gene Carn, Gene Carn, and uh, apparently, you know, apparently she's still alive. So nothing but love to her <laughs> um but you know that song just would not get out of my head i'm telling you and i and i used to think gosh you know what does that mean I, you know i still not necessarily know what it means what what it meant for the others and what their narrative was but i knew what it meant it was it was meaning something to me you know that it takes a fool to learn that love does not love anyone and then what it what it what it taught me is that it's the act of love. Love doesn't owe us anything. You know, is what I'm understanding from that. You know, love doesn't owe us anything. It's our responsibility to participate in the act of it. Right? So you know, when you know, so throughout my, you know, of course, throughout my life experiences, you know, I got my heart broke. <laughs> you know, I, I had a broken heart just like anybody. And we always say it's a broken heart, but you know, hey, that's fine. It's in the solar plex here. You know, it's in the center of our, you know, because we feel it in our hearts. You know, um, and um, I still am so thankful and grateful to my parents because of the the modeling of love, that physical love. You know, that intimate intimacy helped me to not be so delusional and hallucinating about you know a partnership, a relationship, a marriage, you know, a coupling or whatever we call that. And not go in there thinking, I'm going to be happier ever after. We're going to always get along. We're not going to have disagreements. You know, they, they, they had contrasting styles. And they managed to stay together for almost 60 years with all of that going on. <laughs> and we can barely be with them, <clears throat> be in the presence of each other. I mean, I mean, an hour or a week or a day, you know. So many people get overwhelmed with uh, with 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 personalities because we're so massively massively overpopulated but you know the scientists so-called scientists and the intellectual talking heads are not going to admit that but when they realize that they were that they are just as much made a fool of than the rest of us you know there's always a fool of a fool of a fool you know you think you're fooling me but you know someone's fooling you as well and using you and indoctrinating you and making, you know, just making, uh, turning you into a complete um, unreachable idiot. You know, I told you about the, uh, because people are not thinking properly because as a, as a, as to evolve your consciousness, you need to be, have, you need to be thinking properly. Okay. It's not about how, how good you look, you know, how much, what kind of food you eat, how much you exercise. Those things, those things are assistance to the development of your consciousness. And yes, they are important. You know, you need to be nurtured properly. You need to be healthy, you know, mobile, able to, you know, control your, your, um, your, your movement, you know. But, you know, when I, when it, you know, when I, started to get it you know when I started to get it it was around 2007 you know it may have been early but I remember in 2007 where I was you know laying on a um uh, a cu um ceramic tile floor and I think I had um you know blankets to help support you know you know to, as a bed a plaque they used to call them pallets. I think that's, you know, I don't know. But that's how I was living. Okay, I had a good job. I was being paid well. 
but I can barely afford to put furniture in my apartment. And I was living in a quote unquote, not favorable neighborhood, you know, just as I am now. I'm in, I'm in that same environment now, but my perspective is different. Okay, my perspective here and now is about understanding and being compassionate about to people that are uh, have lost their way, you know. And I want to have the experience of what it means to be neglected and to be ignored and disregarded. Okay, and, and, and the main thing is to be used. The main thing about everything that's happening with us is that we are puppets. We're pawns. Even the ones that, cl- even the ones that are, you know, controlling the puppet, you're being, you're being used just as much, just as so. So that song, It Takes a Fool to Learn, um, resonated with me until now. You know, I mean, it started in my 20s, you know, in, you know in the 80s, not to, yeah, when I when uh, just before I graduated from um, high school, and until now that I'm almost 60 years old, and it still and it still has that that same kind of um, uh, energy to it, and it's uh, it brings you know I, I'll admit now when I was young and I was hearing that I was sad, you know I was getting my. And I was going through these things that I didn't like, you know, you know, the things called life, right? (laughs) Didn't like it at all. I didn't like the, uh, some of the things that was going on in the household. Um, And then, you know, once I got out, you know, I had these unrealistic, crazy expectations. At the same time, a, a revelation as well, you know, I was having panic attacks when I moved out, you know, and then... Once I started meditating and, and, and thinking properly and grounding myself, okay, that dissipated like like it never existed. And that's what happens as well when you are grounded in a reality that is um, um, genuine. You know, I mean, you can, you know, like I said, when pe- people that are dealing with this, this acute criminal energy, um, you can unravel yourself out of it, and no one has to know. But it's going to take tremendous, tremendous um, efforts, and um, you know, like I said, the suspension of your ego. You know, to be extremely vulnerable. But you're going to have to be creative about it because you don't want your vulnerability to be taken advantage of. You know, you, like I said, you got to get that ego out of the way. You know, just set it to the side. It's still there. It protects you. And be realistic, you know, and be honest. And that's where a lot of us have lost ourselves in honesty and knowing what that means. You know, in virtues and values, we've lost ourselves in that. You know, it's about greed. It's about taking advantage of people. It's about, um, you know, manipulating people, being deceptive. Um, and, you know, again, some people are picking that up. Even people in my age range. But, you know, it's a small number of us, you know. But, um, you know, but at some point, you know, we, it's going to be a revelation for a lot of us. But again, the damage has been done. OK, and I keep saying that because I don't want people to be believing that there's anything they can do about it. It isn't. OK, you, you're going to have to do you're going to have to stay yourself grounded and make sure you are in safe environments, that you are paying attention to your environment. Doesn't mean that you're not going to be targeted. Because there's just too much going on. There's a noise pollution, you know, and uh, everything is being infringed on, and, and you know we just don't have this proper space. So our our ears are not picking up the, the, the proper sounds and tones. We're not seeing the proper visions of what really is going on in this and that. So you're gonna stumble and fall, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay, so that's where kindness and gentleness comes in. You know, we're not, you know, you're not going to be, you're not going to, you know, if you think you're going to get away without experiencing some pain, without experiencing possible injuries, you know, that may put you in the hospital, may not, you know, diseases, this and that and the other. Okay, you've been delusional, you know. So it takes a fool to learn that love don't love nobody, right? That was, that, that was the theme of my 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 growing up and I know all of us have a theme song in our heads 
you know, because I constantly was asking questions like, okay, what's really going on here? You know, I did what people told me to do. Why am I not getting the results? When I realized that is not, that wasn't the intentions of what people are telling you. Okay, they know that they were putting you in a spin, a spin that we're, and they knew at some point you're going to be inactive. You're not going to be able to, you know, there's a reason I sense as well as why uh, um, President Jimmy Carter is still alive, you know, but he is ineffective per se. I sense and receive there's a reason why he's still alive with us. You know, he was my, my father's favorite president, you know. Um, my dad, um, I think when my dad voted for him, he started to realize something else as well. He realized, you know, he started to think and realize that the enemy was within, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So when I say, when you hear people say the enemy is is within, is I mean, yes, it's inside, yes, uh, yes. I mean, of course it is. But it's also in your environment, in in the in in the areas of uh, where you congregate, congregate, where you hang out, where you worship. Okay, the the affiliations that you associate yourself with. Okay, that's a part of the enemy within, as well. You know, I told you when you when you say something, you need to be able to convert it as well into a metaphor, parable, you know, make it symbolic, you know, do whatever you can with your sensings to make it even more clear and effective for you. We love to point outside and say it's, it's because of the Republicans. Oh, no, it's because of the Democrats. No, it's because of the independents. No, it's because of the men. No, it's because of the women. Oh, no, it's because of transgenders. You know, those are games, okay, to keep you spinning, to always look outside of you, okay, instead of looking within and with the company you keep. I, um, you know, again, I had to, I had to learn by life experiences because if I took things at face value, I would be upset too with the election if I took everything at face value. I would be extremely upset. And to those of you that have these um, planned agendas, a lot of it is unfortunately it cannot be stopped. But there are some of you that are planning an agenda, you know, because of your rage, your jealousy, and your envy, and your your um, your need to always seek to seek revenge and re- retaliation. I say stop. Okay, stop and be really honest about what is really going on around your circle. Who's in your ear? Okay, who's talking to you daily? Like I said, also the enemy can be sleeping right next to you, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this right now. Uh, Again, I don't want to keep up too long, but I'm I'm going to get them out regardless and um, because it's important I want to get out as many of these this enemy within is a fool within um, as many of them as I can and 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 if you know it'll be revealed as to why I'm saying certain things and for a lot of people you're going to be devastated or not but those of you that are working towards understanding okay what's really going on here you're going to be uh, disappointed, especially the young people. You know, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to be, and you're going to be so despondent that you, you you may believe that, okay, I don't need to be here for that. And I'm telling you, you do not want to fall for that. That's, that is a uh, intentional, uh, indoctrinated push, okay, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. They want you to jump off the bridge. They want you to blow your brains out, okay? They want you to be inactive. So that's why they know that certain people are not going to live very long. So many of us are not going to, so many of you, I should say, are not going to make it to 50 years old. 
and then there's going to be some that are going to live in in the, in the three digit range and in both cases you know you, you there's not going to be a goddamn thing you can do all you can do is be a witness to all of this cause and effect the boomerang reaping what you've sown okay so i'm gonna go ahead and stop there and um do some things but um i want you to consider what i'm saying what i'm talking about right now because i you know i know i know my sounds and tones resonate and that's where that's where the, that's where the joy and enthusiasm is just all over me okay so peace and love and trust me i will be back